Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, so, yeah. I have spent many hours today uh, going over uh, and doing pretty much all the remaining uh, side content, bar a few small things. Um, so, yeah, now it's time to meet with Dandelion and then head off to Skellige. To be elegant like me. Truly what you want. To be purveyor of cheap whores and water down wine. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. <laughs> save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and... Ekema jigs. Maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... <laughs> I remember. Do I want to know? <laughs> How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father. Importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Is Sophronia someone we met before? I don't know. But, uh... Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Marina. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Okay. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. <laughs> It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Okay. Oh, man, Newman left me a gift last time. This is gonna be interesting. He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. I'm the last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? 
I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out. Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because <laughs> we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. <laughs> Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <laughs> Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Like in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he Geralt old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is. I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. <laughs> Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? We gotta help him, right? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall, and thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Right. So we got a bunch of new side quests, hooray! Uh, right, so let's go take care of Dandelions uh, first. That's not far away. The game would behave itself, that would also be nice. Hey. 
Hey. Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage Pulls it. Pulls out of her pocket, like, so like you do. How many more props you got stuffed in the pocket? Those pockets are yours. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, random NPCs who I've shoved a lot, but these frames do not allow for very good motion, like fine motion control. <laughs> Cut it out. Snails come out after the rain. We'll catch some. Have a race. Snail racing? God, that reminds me. I was obsessed with the never-ending story as a kid, and the racing snail was like one of my favorite things. <laughs> the eternal fire protects us. No, it doesn't. They're all assholes. Is nowhere near dusk. Uh... Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. <laughs> I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. <laughs> he actually sounded remotely surprised. <laughs> Just then. <laughs> That's your plan? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. But any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. <laughs> You've written what? <laughs> so you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. <laughs> Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be... Stop right there. What is this? Help! Save me! <laughs> Tremble. <Flax. laughs> Bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. <laughs> Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson <laughs> Avenger. Oh my god. No, not the Crimson <laughs> Avenger. Silence, vermin. You He's shall trying. Regret the day you were born. This reminds me of something, and I. Crimson Avenger! I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! <laughs> Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. I'm having he too much fun right now. He would getting caught by the guards. <laughs> would he? Give us some dumplings. <laughs> oh my god! You see, that's what I thought the play was gonna be like. Just cringeworthy everything. Oh. The play was actually very entertaining. 
This on the other hand. <laughs> wow. Problem. I'm, I'm not loitering, I'm sprinting very quickly. Past. Looking forward to get being out of Novigrad. <laughs> Might actually have some frames. Cut it out. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> Fuck you. Old oh, man Newman left me a gift snake last time. Eyes. What? Got a snake never given me nothing well. but floppy diddly. You don't know how to give. What time is it? Uh, morning. <laughs> Understanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? <laughs> wow, we're an interior what designer now. Choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Get out. You've known him longer. Say something. Um... Boudoir seems like a better fit for cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <laughs> well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action, and so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? <laughs> Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Hmm, <laughs> debatable. But he's our friend. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Again? Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. <sighs> Guess we have to bail him out. Again. <laughs> Give up this 
What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. I mean, we were. We were, <laughs> but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. <laughs> How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio. You'd visit her? Often? <laughs> I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. <laughs> the one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Not here. Ah, the key. She just keeps it in a random bucket. That's very secure. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut off, or I'll split your skull! <sighs> my friend asked you nicely. So please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open sortedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer. And that, in turn, means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say... coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose... in that case... One ass. I knew you'd agree. It's settled, then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. 
Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. The Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Okay. This is taking a lot longer than I was expecting. I want to go to Skellige and, and see the art. Just by chance. Uh, Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. And which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Oh, uh, okay. Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, but before all that, I do that. And we'll do this. Oh, this ain't good. What are you guys here for? Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Yeah, yeah. Damn. You ah! 
wreck this putrid. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Fagal Butter State, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Okay, so we got a fair bit of traveling. Uh, right, where's the nearest fast travel? Cut it out. Bad yesterday. Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. You tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Or two. Then you know my predicament. Now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. I don't know. I, I, with these frames, I'm not super willing to do a horse race. Because they are... Well, my frames being unreliable makes the horse races unreliable. So I think I'll just be nice. I have money up. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? I'm just a nice Let's person. Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time, just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. As much as I would like to horse race, I think I'll have to save that for another playthrough because... Yeah. Just hope it don't come down hard at harvest this year. Ah! Oops. We 
you going? A killer prowls the city, but you're not scared, are you? Ooh. Did I just deck Priscilla? So, we start in G major, and... <gasps> I told you, the piece is sad, melancholy, needs a minor key. But I wanted to... To ruin everything. We'll start in E minor. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. <laughs> no. No, not all. But I'd imagine something more... You know, more theatrical. Well, you could have said so. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Chameleon? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're my best bud, Thunderline. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Hell yeah. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? <laughs> she said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? <laughs> that you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. I wish I was. Not this time. I love that music. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. <laughs> you mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! <laughs> Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt! Come with me, please. Of course, let's go. I was about to say, Geralt knows a thing or two about women uh, prettying up. <laughs> Gods. What is up with this Priscilla. Stuff? Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are no. a relative? What do they do? R relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Uh-huh. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid.
Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. I will. Find him. Gladly. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Damn right. Because I do not want Priscilla to die. I like her too much. You so, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drama victims can grow rather tedious. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Why is this not active in my journal? Weird. Look, Priscilla. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Mm. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. That's... I mean, I'm, I'm a singer. Well, as you've probably seen, because I've done singing things on my channel, but... Um, God, just the, the thought of that happening is like... Horror story extreme. Take the ladder. What ladder? Oh, that ladder. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Bitch, please. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. 
where? Uh. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. I mean, you guys can't see my face, but like... Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his ribcage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh, oh, no. What is that? An egg from an amphibian, a salamander. Scorched, but intact. I attended some lectures Fuck. in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So, either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. The fuck? Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Um, like, I'm not that squeamish, but like, there's a certain level of... Yeah. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogal up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. And it fucking stinks. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Yeah, I did biology in school, and there was one time we had to dissect a rat. It was pretty disgusting, but it had been preserved in formaldehyde, and it stank, I can tell you. It smells absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience... Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. 
I'm going to regret this. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. <laughs> I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Eh, yeah. Right. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. clearly a motive because they wouldn't have been so precise with everything I think I feel um, if they punishment but what for someone's out to is there some connection between this dwarf and Priscilla I don't know I feel like I still don't know enough Sorry, rather not share my conclusions just yet. I understand. For the good of the investigation. Will you at least share what you intend to do? It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Oh. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own arse. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case, I will let you know. Mm. Good. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Oh, 
Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. <laughs> Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. That sounded oddly like a threat. Which, to be fair, this guy's has a history. Um. He's a war veteran. Spare me the crown. I've got a big dump. <laughs> All right. All right, he's dead. Odd though he is, girls can't seem to look around. Watch it, Tramp. No big rats, not your hey, stomping ground. Hmm? A brazier. This time of year? That smell from Aldous. That him. What? How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. The hell's Any your problem? Any last words? Yeah. Kill the horse. Now, gotta gut you clean, you lass. No. I really would not like to kill you. That is my least favorite thing to do. You'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Ugh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. I fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. 
Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. Human. Priscilla's. this remember good people the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness reveals each light only so let me guess this person was a fanatic who thought that burning people was a good idea. to see. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, there's something else. What's that? Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Okay, that's everything here. I'll cut it out. Much make more as a mama than you do wish you're in. Well, well, I'm not free. <laughs> well, I'm nothing. After mm. my exploits in the theatre. On you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much lie down. Come on. Come on then. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burning another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleating orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Do they care about some dwarf? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? 
was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarven, craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, "'Tis all your fault, dirty bitch! Human dish rag!" And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? Know where I can find her, this dish rag? <laughs> City cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Mm, that's a bit sus. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just be wary of the dogs. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. <laughs> Blood stains. That's where Phoebe lay when they found him. Uh, the same notice. Yep, the exact same. What the fuck? Mind if I go inside the workshop? It's not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. stains behind. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. I mean, yeah, that seems to be a, a thing in common with both of them. Furniture these. got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. the option to oh to look at it. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Oh dear. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Eyes. Humanoid. Alright, Geralt, we know! Rotten. Say that one more time. Don't mind if I just uh, take all your alcohol. Okay, well that's everything in here. Drifter in from Tamaria. Oi! 
Hey, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. What? Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come as soon as you can. Um... Ah! Yeah. What? Means bandits dropped them. Raiders there. Everyone knows you can wear a quiver on your back, not souls. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the Sus. morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. <laughs> One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> yeah, let's stop. Let, let's, let's stop Some things stop are there. best left unsaid. <laughs> what happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Why do I shame? feel like that? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. I'm now thinking that the Reverend had something to do with this, because there's the notes which said all the eternal fire, blah 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 Um, and he was awfully not happy about us being in the thingy, so... He's very sus. You search Fabian's body? Well... I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Fuck you. Talk. what did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles. Glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner till it is new. That's human skin. What? Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to oh, some shit. Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. <laughs> the, the lag made that so much funnier. <gasps> for everything. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Yeah, he deserved that. But who's uh, who's this other? Welcome, Master Witcher. Someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on? Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more convinced, more and more convinced that I'm right. <laughs> Not fond of Nathaniel. Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner. Sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. 
Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. Why does he look so older than you if he was your student? Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but like, I'm not going to comment on that. That's a bit... Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. Oh In boy, that don't respect, remind me. This work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. Ugh. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Oh, he's sad. He's sad about Triss not being here. Oh, I, f I feel bad now! Why do you do this to me, game? Fuck. Well, Yennefer better be worth it. I, I, next time, master. I, I, I love Triss, but like... Ah, why do I do this to myself? Oh. Oh wait, they live outside, don't they? Yeah, they live all the way over there. different one. Hope we're not too late. What are your wounds? Oh, wrong button. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can. Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. You thought this up, and I'll let you in. You'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, 
Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. Is Patricia the old one? A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square. Uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books insignias reliquary together, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Who the fuck is this fucking fanatic? But Hear that? Calm, murdering. quiet. All well, seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. The... You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh! He... he ran out the other door! Catch him! What the... Oh! What? The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's sake? Spread out! Murder is still here! Go! But why are they attacking me? What? I'm... Halt! For I put a bolt between your eyes! Oh, God, Listen, this you again? got the wrong guy. Save your trickery! Taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. What is it with Geralt getting? We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him. And I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer oh leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. I don't want to look at this. Bruises, broken fingernails. God. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time.
fuck. This is fucked up. How did Priscilla survive in that case? Did someone attack him before he could... I'm also hungry. I'm going to order a pizza. Soon. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's them. not that, no, that, oh god. We're gonna be too late again, aren't we? How fucking fast does this person move? Hi, darling. Like what you see? No thanks, I, I, I only like art. Um, where are the stairs? Oh, that's true. Uh, No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Who the fuck? Yet again, you disturbed me. I knew it. And I so dislike being I disturbed. fucking knew it. I was to play with sweet Nettie. Render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. I knew it was him. I fucking called it. You want you want eternal fire? Right. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me so hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to, and he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Go get those burns looked at. You'll be okay. No thank you. Let's be real. 
If we had asked him why he was doing it, he would have just given a big long rant about why the eternal fire is the greatest thing to ever exist and blah 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 fucking nonsense. Which I do not have the time or patience for. We can gather it here or at my place. Um, oh, geez. Wanna dip your dingle? I was about to be making a very inappropriate reply to that, but uh, I will refrain. Ones, the Danians, as long as they play and don't hit. Priscilla, I mean, her voice though. <sighs> oh, this fucking sucks. We were having such a good time. <clears throat> What's your hair lately? Look awfully suspicious to me. Trap. Fuck you. Fuck everyone in the city who isn't. Fuck all the eternal fire, everything. They all fucking suck. And they have since the first game. Cut it out. Wow. Look. Well, well. Corpor with a library. Fuck you. Ow. I wish there was a, I wish there was a middle finger button so I could give people yeah. a middle finger. Cuz there are sure are a lot of the people in this game who deserve one. Or 10. <coughs> or what is it, grey boy, looking for adventure? Did you take care of what I asked? I did. Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brockalong could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. <laughs> Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Yeah. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. God, why am I crying? Why am I crying? I should have literal tears. Oh god. <laughs> Tissue. I just... I love Dandelion, he's so fucking sweet. <coughs> Who the fuck is Hubo Ray? Dead. 
Anyway. Time to head to Skellige. But this... Actually, wait. What about that quest for Zoltan? Oh, there's that as well. I don't know. It can wait. I want to go to Skellige. Thingy's punishable by death. So yeah, with that, I will end this part here, and I'll see you guys when it's time to reunite with the art. Bye.